hi guys in this video i'm going to start a transposition techniques in my last video i covered the definition of a cryptography and i discussed some key points in a cryptography and i completed the substitutional techniques so while coming to the transpositional techniques transposition technique is nothing but a cryptographic technique that converts the plain text into a cipher text by performing permutations on the plain text so in the substitutional algo technique i replaced the alphabets and i substituted a another alphabet by using a key so in transposition technique i am going to change the position of each character of a plain text by for each round by performing an algorithm on the plain text so what are the transpositional techniques there are three transposition techniques that those are the rail fence technique column and transposition technique and the vernum cipher coming to the first one nothing but a rail fence technique so rail fence technique is a simple transposition technique which involves writing plain text as a sequence of diagonals and then reading it row by row to produce the cipher text so in this also there is a we are using a key and the q is a numerical value the key here is called as a depth value and all the transposition techniques are the symmetric key algorithm what is a symmetric key algorithm symmetric key is algorithm is nothing but we are using a same key to encrypt and to decrypt so coming to the rail fence technique the example is consider a plain text meet me after the party and i given that the depth is 3 so at the initial stage you need to construct a table which contains the three rows exactly three rows which is equal to the depth value so here the number of ro rows in a table must be equal to the depth value so in the in the table which you, we constructed what we need to do we need to write the plain text as a sequence of diagonals as a sequence of diagonals so i am writing the plain text into the table as meet me after the party observe here i am writing in a diagonal manner so meet after the meet there is a space so i left a box as a empty box me after the party after constructing a table and writing all the plain text alphabets into the table then we need to convert the plain text into a cipher text how we can convert in this algorithm you need to write all the alphabets that are available in a first row and then second row and then third row and so on so here there are three rows so the first row contains the alphabets m and space a r e r so i am writing as a m space a r e r after the completion of first row i need to move to second row in the second row the alphabets are e t m space and f e space h space a t in such a manner you need to write a cipher text so this is a rail fence technique coming to the second technique nothing but columnar transposition cipher how this algorithm works so the message is written out in rows of pixel length and then read out again column by column and the columns are chosen in a some scrambled order what is that order so width of the rows and the permutation of columns are usually defined by a keyword so by considering an example i am going to explain the above two statements so let us consider example so the here the key is a hack and the plain text is a cryptography so here also you need to construct a table how many rows i need to construct is depend upon the plain text but here you need to construct a columns based upon a key so if a key contains the four alphabets then you need to construct the four column table so here my key value is the size of key is 4 so i constructed the four column table nothing but and i placed my key in the top row nothing h a c k is my key 
now the plain text is cryptography so each alphabet in a cryptography should be written in a table so i am going to start to write into the table nothing but c r y p t o g r a p h y if more than 10 if more than 15 to 20 letters you can write all the letters in such a manner after completion of after constructing my table then what you need to do now arrange the columns in an alphabetical order what does it mean so here there are the four columns h a h column a column c column k column now arrange the four columns in a alphabetical the first al the first column is a why, why because a is the first alphabet in 20 in english so now a c h k will be my table after rearranging the table into a alphabetical order now write all the letters in a column wise first you need to write a, a column and then c column and then h column and then k column so r o p y z h c t a p r y this is my second technique which is called a column transposition cipher coming to the third technique nothing but a vernum cipher in this the key value should be the plain text it's nothing but the length of key should be the length of text if i consider a six letter text then the key value should be also a six letter word or a six letter string so how this algorithm works so considering a plain text as a satvik and the key as r s a v n a now find the numerical values of the plain text and the numerical values of a key so the numerical value of a satvik is nothing but 18 for s and 0 for a and t for 19 here i am starting my alphabetical value as a 0 as a a and 25 as a z now coming to the key for r it is 17 for s it's 18 now add the numerical values of both the plain key and the plain text then the values will be 18 plus 17 is nothing but 35 Zero plus eighteen is eighteen. Now, in an alf, in an English, there are only twenty. Totally, there are only twenty-six alphabets. There is a no thirty-fifth letter, so I am going to subtract the twenty-six from the value which are greater than twenty-six. So thirty-five minus twenty-six is nothing but a nine. Eighteen is less than twenty-six, so there is no need of a subtraction. Nineteen is less than also twenty-six. Forty-three is greater than twenty-six, so I need to subtract forty. 26 from 43 nothing but 17 and the final cipher text will be a j s t r v k you can observe in all the three algorithms just i am changing the position of a plain text not not changing the alphabets so that's the reason these three algorithms or the three techniques are called a transposition techniques thank you guys